Most notably, James Norton is known for his award-nominated performance as Tommy Lee Royce in BBC One's Happy Valley. You may also recognize him from films such as Little Women, Mr. Jones, Flatliners, and Nowhere Special. However, the latest buzz around him is due to the HBO science fiction series The Nevers, where he plays the role of a club owner, Hugo Swan. He also has a couple of other projects in the works that will continue to solidify his place in the entertainment industry. While he may be one of the busiest British actors right now, he's pretty private. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about James Norton. He is a diabetic. He has been open about the fact that he suffers from type 1 diabetes, which he was diagnosed with in November 2010. He told the Times, I have to inject every time I eat carbohydrates, up to 15 times a day, with 5mm needles you use discreetly. I'll probably do one or two during this interview. Also, I have this device called a Dexcom, a subcutaneous glucose monitor that Bluetooths my phone and tells me what my sugars are. Before, I had to draw blood from my finger. He has since become an ambassador for Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. For some diabetics, simply getting through the day can be a challenge, let alone taking on a successful film and TV career. Speaking about his condition, he certified, being diabetic does not hold you back. It'd never hamper me, for example, in regards to any role, particularly physically. He said that he asked costume designers to sew hidden patches into his outfits to conceal glucose tablets. He also has to think carefully about where to place a glucose monitor during topless or nude scenes. He wasn't a Doctor Who fan before he appeared in the 2013 episode Cold War. Norton has said he felt guilty about this, especially when co-star Matt Smith handed him the iconic sonic screwdriver, but had a fun time on set anyway. I really enjoyed filming it and I had the most camp death in the world. I was on a winch and an alien grabbed me from above, and I got yanked off screen. About 30 times in a day, I had this big harness on, and just got whipped up. It was like being at a theme park. This claw would come to shot and I'd have to scream. His parents has appeared in several of his TV shows. If you're the parent of a successful actor you might hope to benefit in some way, whether through invitations to premieres, mentions in acceptance speeches or help with the mortgage. Yet James Norton's dad made a habit popping out in his son's TV shows. He appeared in War and Peace, Lady Chatterley's Lover, Death Comes to Pemberley, Granchester, and McMafia. Not only that, his mother also shared a scene with her husband and son in Granchester Series 3 Episode 4. He learned Russian martial arts Sistema for McMafia. For the role of the son of Russian exile Alex Godman in BBC crime series McMafia, he took classes in a Russian martial arts Sistema, which he said was all about taking the pain and relaxing through it. They have classes in London, and they're run by this amazingly eccentric man called David, who I became very close to. We would meet in a room on our own, and we would roll around and punch each other. I had hours and hours of this man punching me, and it's all about taking the pain and relaxing through it, so he would genuinely have his hand over my mouth, and I would have to hold my breath, and he would say at that point when your body is spasming and you're naturally getting terrified, that's when you have to push through and that's when you find the control and the calm. It was terrifying. Can he really speak Russian? McMafia is full of eye-catching violence, opulent wealth and beautiful scenery, but the thing that most caught our notice was star James Norton's adept use of Russian throughout the drama, with his character Alex Godman frequently conversing fluently with his family members, generally played by Russian actors, despite Norton's own lack of Russian roots. So, we had to wonder, how did he pull it off? I'm a very committed actor and have learned to speak Russian, he joked. No, we learn bits. We have these extraordinary Russian actors here, so we have translators on set. And in scenes where he had to engage in lengthy Russian dialogue, Norton explained, he had a trick to make it look convincing, learning key words so he knew at what point he was supposed to reacting or replying in a certain way. He was bullied at school. He was educated at Ampliferth College, a prestigious Catholic boarding school in Yorkshire. Sadly, it wasn't an entirely happy experience. He told the Daily Telegraph, I actually got quite badly bullied at school, and one of my saviors, one of the people who really got me through was a monk called Father Peter, who wasn't a teacher, nothing to do with the school, but he had confession. I was able to go and just talk, and he basically became my therapist, and I just would sort of sob my eyes out. Religion has played a major role in his life. He was drawn to Eastern religions at a young age, traveling around India and Nepal to learn about Hinduism and Buddhism before starting a theology degree at Cambridge. But despite his academic interests, he doesn't consider himself a religious man. 
Obviously I have a relationship with religion because I went to a Catholic school and studied theology. I can't call myself religious, but I'm definitely fascinated by it. He never graduated drama school. After university, he enrolled at the prestigious drama school Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, but dropped out six months before finishing the course in order to take a part in a play and get his acting career off the ground. He spoke to marriage counselor to prepare a role. Between December 2017 and February 2018 he appeared in Amy Hartzard's Belleville at the Donmer Warehouse Theater. The play centers around a self-obsessed young American couple living a dream life in Paris as their relationship sours and descends into tragedy. To prepare playing the troubled young couple, he and co-star Imogen Poots spent time with a marriage counselor. The cast of Belleville and its director Michael Longhurst also visited the trendy Paris suburb where the play is set and stayed in an apartment block like the one the characters live in. He's in relationship with British actress Imogen Poots. Norton has been dating British actress Imogen Poots for the last three years. The pair first met in 2017 as they worked together in the theatre production titled Belleville. They made their relationship official at the Cannes Film Festival in 2018 by appearing on the red carpet together. Poots moved in with Norton to his house in Peckham during the coronavirus-imposed lockdown in 2020. While the Grantchester star tends to keep his love life out of the spotlight, he has shared several photos of Poots to Instagram over the years.